Okay, this is the last update on the DeVille. Pretty much for the, as far as working on the DeVille, we still gotta clean it. And I'll get some videos up after we detail it, throw the radio in it. Because the motor is running, it's running good. New batteries in there, new radiators in there, new hoses are on. We're retaining water very well. Uh, the new brake master cylinder is on and it's not leaking. We That's have We still have we still have some we have brake pressure now. This wheel straight, nice and even. And uh, it's got a little stumpy idle, some sea foam and some plugs and wires. And we'll get that taken care of. Tomorrow morning the car is going. We're getting the exhaust ripped off and new exhaust put on it. Um, I believe the catalytic converter is stopped up on it. It's got that rotten egg smell. So we're gonna take it and have all the cats and exhaust and mufflers and stuff ripped off and new straight pipes put on there. We'll check that out. And pretty much good now. Gotta find the... <laughs> oh man, excuse me. The pollen is freaking killing me. Gotta find the new side marker bulbs for the courtesy lights. <laughs> and my allergies are gonna be the death of me. So I'm stopping this video here. Thanks for watching us fix this turd. The next step is gonna to be to clean this turd and make it not so much a turd and put a radio in it and clean all the interior. <laughs> so before my sneezing gets out of hand, thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. <clears throat> so you can keep up with us. We're about to make the journey to Atlanta, Georgia for the Atlanta Motor Speedway Import Alliance event, um, which is the 18th or the 19th of March this is this coming weekend and uh, we're about to journey down there we are taking this $500 Cadillac on the six hour drive you need to you need to just, 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 yeah you should subscribe so you can see us make it or break it and uh, yeah all right guys um, like I said, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. And, yep. Okay, so here's the wheel remounted on the car. And man, that's a hundred times straighter. Good God, that's almost perfect. I think my eyeball alignment for that was good enough. Topped it off with water. It was just a hair low, nothing major. Oh. She's a little cold. Cold natured. Throw this bitch in the drive. <whistles> Gotta put the brake booster on it still. Gotta see if this thing's gonna pull any direction or not. It's almost straight. Check it. Track it straight. Oh, the brakes are toast. Heck yeah, but she's going straight. All right. Now. Now we can get ready and move on to important things like brakes. Oh, I'm so happy that wheel straightened that car up. It actually might be towed out a hair. I actually might need to go back and take it in a notch. But that is great. Heck yeah. All right, guys, day two. We're at the scrapyard and uh, man with the plan over there who's uh torching on the box hooked us up real good and uh he got that oxycetylene torch heated that bad boy up check that out now it's 
it's got a hair little bend in it left but for the most part that sun gun is still right and see i've still got the adjustment down at the bottom half i can still bring it in more to adjust it uh supposing that it's off anymore my phone is blowing up oh man it's been comment central all morning so now we got to run to uh the parts house and pick up some lock and lug nuts hey a buddy of mine put a picture of nick's car so i don't know who you are but we should be friends tag nick in it so all right now to the parts store now this is no type of professional alignment but i've got the bar back in here but just a second ago i loosened this nut up removed it from this uh the little end that it hooks in on the hub and rotated this piece right here outwards two more turns to compensate for the drag that the wheel originally had you can see while i got this bar bent out for the most part there's still a crease in it and the wheel was still looking a little crooked so just to be safe i went ahead and backed it out two turns and we'll take it to an alignment shop and have them look at it but because this is still a functional and adjustable i'm sure this is this is going to be about right if not spot on um we'll just have to see how it goes but that's what i did ready to bolt everything back down and put the tire on and take it on the road all right guys back at the house now with the saddle act we've got this bar all nice and straight now ish straighter than it was and this bar bolts up there's a hole right here you can see and that corresponds to this metal tab right here and this bolt and the front hooks in right here just like a, a tie rod does to control he just took off running <laughs> david just busted his ass <laughs> <laughs> you did, you fucking did this in your ass. Okay. Oh, that was great. Do it again. I don't think I got it all. My ass in it. I don't know. It came close. So now we just got to put this bar back up in here and, and tighten it all back down. Now he's going to be a baby. Alright, so anyway, I got to have two hands to do this. But I'm going to put this bar back on and uh, then we'll put the wheel on and see if it goes straight.